Not a word, my lovely. child. Leave her be. A child? One time we thought she was a mean child, so we spoke freely in front of her. Never imagining a girl, just a child, would be a spy and betray us. No! Kill me, not my father. If you must shed blood, let it be mine. No! But not my father's. I beg you. I beg. If you're not with me, then you too are my enemy. I've been with you since you came back from Florida. You know my loyalties are to you and to the king, of course. Then why stop me from killing her? I have no doubt that she turned traitor and told of our plans. I just cannot help but admire her bravery, her willingness to sacrifice her life for her father's. Remember your own father, Bill, and you'll no doubt spare her life. <laughs> Next time I will not be so generous. Sorry, I will not burn your house tonight since you're not a part of your daughter's deed. But next time, involvement or no, I will leave behind nothing but ashes and blood. Take control of your daughter everything did and I mean everything Matt take what valuables you want I am claiming their horses you've seen his anger now see mine if you spy again you die. It's that simple. And I promise you it will be by my own hand. You've been warned. Take heed. It's grandmother's. You can't. These plates will be used to make bullets for the king's men to fight the rebels. Or perhaps one of those bullets will kill your brother. <laughs> Wouldn't that be ironic? You say you fight for the king. Nothing more than a thief and a killer. Darcy, be quiet. Not a taste for blood, do I? She does not mean to. So no, let her speak. I want to know what the last thinks. I think the devil pales compared to you and the other bloody scouts. Bill was a patriot. He fought heroically for your cause. He fought for your side, miss. Did you know that? I had heard stories. Well, believe the rumors, miss. Bill was to be promoted for his courageous acts against the Tories. He fought bravely in many battles. Then one day he did something wrong. Not a huge wrong, a small error. Not even worth mentioning. And for that one minor incident, he beat. Whipped until the blood showed on his back. 
That is how the Patriots treat their heroes. Still, that is no excuse for his killing and plundering. What happened to Bill is not for dainty ears. You call him Bloody Bill and us Bloody Scouts, but it's your Patriots who kill the innocent. Never. Bill left this area. He went far away to Florida. But while he was gone, his aged father was driven from his home and killed by the very Patriots Bill fought with. You love your father. Bill loved his. But his father died at the hands of the Patriots. As he stood helpless, they shot Bill's father down. So he seeks revenge. And would you not do the same? If we had killed your father as he stood helpless, shot him down, would you not hate us and want revenge? Still, that is no excuse for his killing. And now, that name Bloody Bill has become his own name. You will not hear one name without the other. Oh, you condemn revenge. Yes, I do. Would it be so charitable if your own father had been shot? Should we put that to the test? <laughs> if I pull this trigger, would you want to kill me? No, please. Let me see if that would be true. Bang. <laughs> Bill's given an order. You're safe, both of you. At least for tonight. Obey your father as I obey Bill. For if you don't, child or no child, you will be treated as a spy. And though I would hate to hurt a young girl, for I'm not a cruel man, I would hurt you. I have my promise on that, miss. Even to you both. Yankee Doodle wings at town, riding on a pony. Stuck a feather in his cap and 